Can you guess which tastes better? Coca-Cola in an aluminum can or a glass bottle? Some people believe that aluminum cans offer a fresher and more convenient taste, while others argue that glass bottles preserve the original and more luxurious flavor. In reality, about 60% of consumers choose Coca-Cola in aluminum cans for their convenience and better cooling properties. So, are you a team aluminum can or a team glass bottle? Leave a comment and let us know your thoughts. Today, Captain Discovery will take you on a journey to explore the production process of Coca-Cola cans, from thin aluminum sheets to perfect beverage cans. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to avoid missing out on exciting videos from Captain Discovery. Now, let's get started. The journey of Coca-Cola cans began in the 1950s, when Coca-Cola faced a significant challenge, how to meet the demand of consumers who wanted a portable and easy-to-use product. At that time, Beverages were typically sold in glass bottles, which were not convenient for active and on-the-go people. Aluminum cans emerged as the perfect solution. In 1955, Coca-Cola decided to launch its first aluminum can, but this journey wasn't easy. They had to find the best aluminum to ensure the can could preserve the excellent taste of Coca-Cola while preventing light and air from affecting the product's quality. Aluminum cans are not only light and durable, but also easy to recycle, helping to protect the environment. However, launching aluminum cans was just the beginning. To ensure that each Coca-Cola can meet the highest standards, Coca-Cola developed an advanced production process from selecting high-quality aluminum materials to automated manufacturing and packaging steps. This process optimized production costs and ensured uniform quality for every Coca-Cola can. Coca-Cola has always been innovating and improving. From classic Coca-Cola cans to special editions like Coca-Cola Zero Sugar or different flavored Coca-Cola, Aluminum cans have become symbols of Coca-Cola's creativity and commitment to quality. Did you know that over 2.2 billion servings of Coca-Cola are enjoyed daily in more than 200 countries and territories? This is possible thanks to the collaboration of over 225 bottling partners at 900 bottling plants worldwide. To ensure quality and sustainable development, in January 2006, Coca-Cola established the Bottling Investment Group (BIG) to support bottling plants and help them grow sustainably. So, how is a Coca-Cola can made? Follow along and discover the secrets behind each familiar Coca-Cola can. These are massive rolls of aluminum, weighing tons. The aluminum is carefully selected from reputable suppliers, ensuring the highest quality for the final product. Did you know that aluminum is the most recycled metal in the world? Each ton of recycled aluminum can save up to 95% of the energy compared to producing new aluminum from ore, significantly reducing CO2 emissions. This helps protect the environment and saves valuable resources. But why choose aluminum as the material? Aluminum is not only light and durable, but also recyclable. Aluminum also has an interesting nickname, the infinitely recyclable metal. This means aluminum can be recycled many times without losing its natural quality. Recycled aluminum products can be identical to the original product or become something entirely different. Have you ever wondered where a used Coca-Cola can goes? Let's continue to explore its life cycle and understand Coca-Cola's commitment to environmental protection in the following sections. Large aluminum rolls are cut into smaller sheets. These sheets are fed into a giant stamping machine. This stamping machine works like a sculptor using immense pressure to transform flat aluminum sheets into cylindrical shapes. The first step in creating a Coca-Cola can. Imagine the stamping machine is a colossal machine capable of producing thousands of cans in just a minute. Can you guess the exact speed? To put it into perspective, these 3,000 cans could cover a football field in less than 20 minutes. From flat aluminum sheets, cylindrical cans start to appear, shiny and gleaming. These cans line up on the production line creating an impressive spectacle like a stream of living metal. After the bodies are formed, the next step is welding. Advanced welding technology ensures a seamless and strong weld.
After being stamped into cylindrical shapes, the aluminum cans are transferred through specialized machinery to complete their shape. This is where Coca-Cola can begin to take its true form. First, the can is moved through a sophisticated system to create the bottom. The bottom of the can must be solid to withstand the pressure from the liquid inside, ensuring the can does not burst or leak under pressure. Next, the can is passed through a machine to form the neck. The neck of the can is tapered and gradually reduced, creating a perfect opening to attach the lid later. After shaping, the aluminum cans enter a rigorous inspection phase. This inspection system uses advanced technologies like optical and ultrasonic sensors capable of detecting minor defects as thin as a hair. Indeed, no detail is too small to escape the eagle eyes of these sensors. After passing the inspection phase, the aluminum cans move to the internal coating step. To ensure the taste of Coca-Cola is not affected by the aluminum, each can is coated with a special protective layer inside. This process must ensure a smooth and even coating throughout the interior surface of the can, creating a perfect protective layer. After coating, the aluminum cans move through the modern printing system. This is where the Coca-Cola can starts to don its distinctive appearance. The labeling process must be extremely precise to ensure that the Coca-Cola brand and related information are printed in the correct position and clearly. Did you know that the Coca-Cola brand is one of the most recognized in the world? This demonstrates Coca-Cola's outstanding success in building its brand. Imagine rows of Coca-Cola cans lined up neatly, each one getting adorned with the familiar red and white logo, ready to reach consumers. But the Coca-Cola can's journey is not over. We still have a few more steps before the can is ready to be shipped out to you. Once the above steps are completed, the cans are sent to the system for sealing. The can lids are also thoroughly inspected before being attached to the cans. After that, the complete cans undergoes a final inspection process. This process is like a dress rehearsal, ensuring every can meets the standard before leaving the factory. Automated inspection systems meticulously review each detail, from the lid seal to the internal pressure, ensuring no flaws are missed. Finally, after all the inspection and finishing steps, the Coca-Cola cans are ready to be shipped. The complete Coca-Cola cans are carefully packed and ready to be dispatched. They will be transported to retailers and consumers worldwide. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, what happens to Coca-Cola cans after use? Coca-Cola is committed to protecting the environment by promoting the recycling of used aluminum cans. After use, aluminum cans are collected and recycled to produce new cans, completing their life cycle sustainability. This not only reduces aluminum waste, but also conserves valuable natural resources. Thanks for exploring the Coca-Cola can production process with us. If you're amazed by the blend of technology and craftsmanship we showcased, like, share, and comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to Captain Discovery for more interesting journeys.